As Nova the human rocket tears between the buildings of New York, Wolverine is more than a little frustrated. He's aboard a city bus, in costume, and shows his frustration to the gaping passengers, who can do nothing but stare at him. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is more than surprised at discovering the dead body of Paul Patterson's father. Spidey soon pops the question, Paul, how did he die? Paul replies that he killed him. He explains that he didn't do it on purpose. He didn't even know what he was doing. All he knew was that he could shoot light from his hands. He didn't know he could hurt people, and was just trying to show his father. Spidey informs him that he can't just keep a dead body in the house. Paul says he was going to call, but didn't know what to do. Suddenly his eyes glow, and he grins. The thing is, he explains, he kind of liked it. He wanted to try it again, and tell Spidey that he should look in the other rooms. You know what? I've never killed a superhero before. The spider sense kicks into overtime. Meanwhile, the bus stops and Wolverine gets off. He can't believe they act like they haven't seen a superhero before. He arrives at Paul's house, after hoping he wouldn't have to see the place again. Suddenly, an explosion from within sends Spider-Man crashing through the wooden outer wall and straight into Wolverine, who in turn crashes against a parked car. As they regain their senses, Spidey tells Logan he's glad to see him. He apologizes for the whole webbing thing. Logan, too, apologizes for letting his berserker rage get the better of him. But at least Spidey now knows what they're up against. They both look at the house, just as the whole place explodes. Through the smoke and wreckage stands the naked, stocky figure of Paul Patterson. Wolverine points out that Paul's over there. Paul tells them it's good that Wolverine's appeared. He explains that he's learned something over the last few months. While testing his powers, he's learned that the more he uses his powers, the more powerful he becomes. He opens fire, expelling energy from his hands at both his opponents. As Spidey leaps, he asks Logan if he has a game plan. Spidey fires some webbing, telling Paul he doesn't have to do this. Paul certainly thinks he does. The webbing hits a wall behind him, which Spidey pulls onto Paul. Avoiding another blast, Spidey again leaps away from danger. Logan continues to tell Spidey that Paul's signature would spike every time he used his powers. The car beside them explodes, as Spidey pulls Logan clear of the blast. Despite the two heroes being incredibly experienced, they struggle against Paul's brutal assault. Time after time, they manage to evade his energy blasts. At that very moment, the peace of Latveria's countryside is broken by a fizzle of energy, followed by an enormous release of lightning. Dr. Doom lands on the ground in a heap. As he looks up, he whispers the name, Richards. The heroes are tossed about like rag dolls as Paul continues to unleash his aggression in the form of bigger and bigger blasts. Logan theorizes that, if Spidey can distract Paul long enough, he might be able to get close enough to stab him. Paul decides that this is becoming dull, and turns his attention towards his neighbor's house. He levels the front wall with a single blast, forcing the two heroes to look after the innocents who come rushing outside. Paul's plan works, and he catches Logan squarely with a beam of energy. Spidey asks if he's okay, but Logan's adamantium skeleton protects him okay. Paul concentrates and summons a larger amount of energy, unleashing it at Spider-Man. Suddenly he turns and sees Wolverine standing right next to him. He apologizes to Paul for giving him no choice. He extending a claw straight through his forearm. Paul screams and, in a blinding flash of light, Paul explodes as his entire body is short-circuited. The two heroes are thrown to the ground. Logan stands and decides not to bother Cyclops with this. He'll just call S.H.I.E.L.D. and let them deal with it. Spidey asks if he's got their number. Logan replies that he has Nick on speed dial. Suddenly, several S.H.I.E.L.D. craft arrive and asks what they've got. Spidey asks Wolverine to take things from there. His wife is probably worried sick as it's almost morning. You're married? asks Logan. Spidey asks if he finds it hard to believe. He's seen him without the mask. I'm totally hot.